mindfulness. It's being aware of what is going on with yourself and what's going on around you. I don't know if I could give you the right definition, but in our classroom, it's just being aware of what you're doing at that moment. We usually do the mindfulness piece before we start the lesson, because I think the students look forward to it. It's really helpful because students are all riled up from specials, and it's time for us to get right into the academics because I don't believe in wasting a lot of time. And I will say, okay, we need to calm down. Let's do some mindfulness. And when I start that tape and we do the breathing together, it really centers them and brings them down. I'm really happy that we've started to do that. We do activities in my classroom because they're constantly having to listen to music and they're not used to just sitting quietly. So usually on advisory days, I pull out a mandala and we color with music in the background and there's no talking allowed. And that might go on for 15 minutes. And for some of them, that's a big stretch. I noticed that my students are pulled in so many different directions and I feel that they need to center themselves so that they can focus. And if you ask them, what does mindfulness do for you? They will say to you, it calms me down or it relaxes me or it helps me focus. They'll say those words. In my, the corner of my classroom, we have a quiet corner. And there's a dozen or so pillows and you have to be quiet in the quiet corner. Whatever you learn in advisory, you could take home and yes. use at home. Sometimes it's used for calming down and sometimes it's a reward. I've given them all pie cleaners and say, you know, we're not all perfectly straight because once we get used and we do different activities, we get bent and twisted around. And even when you try, you're not quite as straight as when you started. Twist away as you would like. And try to give them examples in their lives about how a person's comment might have bent you a little bit. And they can apologize, but it's still not back to quite where we started. And you can see when those practical things are brought up that the kids go, oh yeah, that is true. When you say certain things to kids, it hits home and you can just see it on their face or their light bulb goes off. I love the mindfulness. I'm excited to see what's going to happen next with it. I'm glad that we've started to use it and I think I'm going to incorporate it more than I already do. It's amazing, it really is.